welcome back to my channel so as you can see today I am in my kitchen again but I decided I love doing favorites videos for you guys I know I did like a Dollar Tree favorites video I did like an Amazon favorites video I think um, but I have not done a kitchen favorites video for you guys so I decided that today I'm gonna film a kitchen favorites video for you guys and I think I'm gonna do it like kind of kitchen like a tour style um for those of you who are new I will show you what my kitchen looks like and then just kind of give you a tour of where I keep my stuff and as I do that I will show you some of my favorite things that I have for use in my kitchen and I will try to link as much as I can below I apologize right now if you hear like background noise the refrigerator is like right here and sometimes it comes through loud on my videos and sometimes it doesn't so if it's loud on this one I apologize but anyways without further chatting let's get into the video and let me show you guys some of my favorite things that I have in my kitchen so for those of you who are new here is a quick just like glimpse of what my kitchen looks like our door for our house is right here so we don't really have like much of an entryway or space like we kind of have shoes and stuff right here and then over here I have my coffee bar so it's a small kitchen but it definitely has a good amount of storage space and it works great for us I also did want to tell you guys that this video is not sponsored or anything by any of the brands or things that I show you or companies that I may mention um, probably most of the stuff I will have linked on Amazon so but it's not sponsored or anything I'm just sharing all this stuff with you because I really do love it and it's what I use in my kitchen and I thought maybe it could be helpful for you guys I know with Christmas coming up maybe you're looking for some Christmas ideas to give to others for yourself or you're looking for ideas to buy for others so maybe this can give you guys some great ideas for Christmas gifts as well so I don't know if this counts as a favorite, but I'm gonna include it anyways. Um, so this right here is actually a trash can bin. It's kind of gross because our trash is in there, but um, I absolutely love this. My husband Nelson built this for me, and I know you can purchase them, but yeah, he built it to match kind of the farmhouse style of my house, and I also use it as a coffee bar, and I love that because it keeps all my coffee things over here. Sometimes I'll put syrups like back here on the tray, um, it keeps all my coffee things right in one area, kind of out of the way, off my counter, and it is super great to kind of stay organized, like, with your coffee area, because it's all right here on this little stand. So, starting right here in the kitchen, this cabinet may be a little bit messy, I'm just gonna warn you guys, I did not pre-organize stuff before this, but anyways, this is kind of a catch-all, but it has, like, um, our pills, and uh, medicine that kind of thing here we kind of have change jar like right here um, and just spare things up there and then down here we have kind of just like a catch-all drawer um, I organized it with these bins I picked up at the Dollar Tree I think it was a large one and two small ones for a dollar so I got two sets of those and have it all organized um, and then down here is where I keep my cookie sheets, um, baking cake pans, bread pans, that kind of thing. It's really the only good place I have to keep them, so yeah, that's where I keep those. Moving over here, I keep all our cereal up here above the stove. Um, and I don't really think I have any favorites to show with this at the moment. Let me turn this light on here. And then down below in this drawer is where I keep frying pans and things like that. Okay, you guys, so we've hit one of my favorites, and that is right here on the stove. This kitchen, um, I think it's called a dish towel, I think is what it's called. This towel here on my stove is one of my kitchen favorites, and the reason why is because it's actually, let me see here. So it's actually a Norwex cloth or towel. Um, it's specifically for drying your dishes, but it seriously is so soft, and it soaks up so much water like lots of water um way more than like what your average kitchen towels do and they're a little bit pricey so i actually only have one of them but it definitely goes on my favorites list as something that i use a lot and that i really love and that comes in handy like when you're drying dishes 
you don't constantly have to be reaching for a new towel because your towel is wet like we don't have a dishwasher so everything either air dries or gets hand dried so something like this is super handy and it is definitely one of my kitchen favorites all right, so then over here to the right hand side of the stove is where I keep my spices and I don't really have a great system for them. I have these bins that I picked up at Dollar Tree and I kind of have them organized in there and then I keep extra stuff on the top shelf. So it works good just to kind of pull out like one bin at a time. Like this is like herbs and seasonings. Um, I know this one is like extra stuff. This one is like sweeter things like cinnamon um nutmeg those kind of spices so this is where i keep all of those and then moving down here i would have to say that this right here has to make it on my list as one of my kitchen favorites so i picked up this like crock looking thing right here um at i think it was at tj maxx and i don't know how much it was but it wasn't very expensive but this is so handy growing up my mom never kept utensils on the counter in like a crock or a container or anything like that but this is really handy when you're cooking just to grab something out of real quick um it might not be everybody's style to have something on the counter with your um spatulas and whatever pancake flippers whatever you call them in but for me it definitely is one of my favorite things and i'm constantly reaching into it grabbing stuff out of it another one of my kitchen favorites would be spatulas and i'm sure everybody knows about these but in case you don't you should definitely get yourself some of these they are so handy when you're making sauces or making gravies or scraping out pans like having them in different sizes um yeah i have multiple ones but they are so handy for that and I use them probably every single day. So then over here I have some more kitchen organization. This is another one of my kitchen favorites. I got this oil dispenser I think at TJ Maxx. You can also find them at Dollar Tree but it makes it so nice to keep olive oil in um, when you're cooking or sauteing things or anything like that. And then these cute little things I actually picked up at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. One holds my cinnamon, one holds my cocoa powder, and they are really cute and really easy just to keep out on the counter for making things like hot chocolate or adding a little bit of cinnamon in your coffee, anything like that. So then moving here, I have my hot pad drawer, and that brings me to another one of my favorites. So for another one of my favorites, I have normal like hot pads. Well, these are silicon ones, but I have these, you know, like to set things on if they're warm or whatever. But my mom bought me these um, uh, like probably t a year ago for Christmas, maybe. Maybe it was like two years ago. Um, and you put your hands in them like this and they're like little pinchers to get your things out of the oven. They work so great like when you're trying to hold a hot bowl or hot kettle and you want to actually hold the sides of it. These work great and your hands stay in them a lot better and don't slip like they do with something like this or something like this so yes these are another one of my kitchen favorites i'm not sure where my mom got these but i will try to link them or something similar down below so you guys know and you guys can find them if you're looking for something like this okay so moving on you guys down here is where i keep my like casserole dishes um cutting boards that kind of thing i will just show you these real quick these are quickly becoming my favorite they are flexible cutting board mats. I picked these up at Aldi, but I'm pretty sure you can get them on Amazon and they are so nice for cutting. You can also bend them if you want to carry like something to the trash. They work well um, to like roll up and carry something, anything like that. These are another one of my kitchen favorites that I use all the time. All right, then over on this side, we're right beside my sink now. The bottom drawer is kind of miscellaneous stuff. This drawer is a little bit of a mess because Zendaya always gets into it but it's where I keep kind of old like bottle parts and stuff I haven't put them away yet from when she was little but silverware for her that kind of thing the next drawer is all my metal utensils so like um yeah ice cream spoons apple cutter scissors that kind of thing and then this drawer is for all my plastic ones so in my metals drawer or in the metal utensil drawer is another one of my favorites and that are these um they are measuring spoons and i don't know if you guys have ever seen anything like this or not but the middle is actually a magnet and you have two spoons um 
of the same measurement and they all magnet onto each other just like this. So they can sit in your drawer and they don't get lost. You don't have to pull them off like a circle thing or whatever when you want to use one. Um, they're super easy to grab and yeah, they are another great kitchen item that I use a lot and I really, really like. So up here, this cabinet is kind of miscellaneous. I have mugs. I have um, some snacks for Zendaya, leftover formula from when she was little. Over here are all her cups and yeah, it's rather disorganized. But anyways, bibs up there, that type of thing. And then above my sink, I have, I keep all our like to-go cups, that kind of thing. And then I have three bins right here that I also picked up at Dollar Tree for straws, disposable straws, and lids. Here is the sink area, and excuse my cactuses, they're getting watered today, so that's why they're sitting in the sink. But then down below here is where I keep like my kitchen towels. I got these bins also at um, Dollar Tree for a dollar, and they just help to keep everything organized down below here. So below my kitchen sink is another one of my kitchen favorites, and that is this cloth, and it is a Norwex cloth again, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not trying to drum up business for them, anything like that. I'm just sharing these with you guys because I really love them. Um, so this cloth is their fruit and veggie scrub cloth. And this side is actually really rough. I don't know if you can see the texture. There you go. Um, and then this side is more smooth. And it is to clean off your vegetables with. It does a great job on potatoes, getting all the dirt off. You don't really have to use a scrub brush when you have like a cloth like this that is coarse. It also removes bacteria because the Norwex claws have a silver in them and they also are a very small microfiber which helps to remove a lot of bacteria from surfaces. So this is a great thing to have for fruits and vegetables if you want to wash them off to get them nice and clean and get some of those nasty chemicals off of them. All right, so over here, this is another one of my kitchen favorites. This just has hand soap, dish soap, and lotion on it. I found this um, little tray thing at a thrift store and it was brown and kind of ugly. <laughs> and I sanded it down and painted it white and I have so loved having a tray to put my soaps on. Um, they don't sit on here anymore and get all gummy and gross. Everything kind of stays in this tray and that is super nice. This is another one of my kitchen favorites and if you don't have a tray or something to keep your soaps on in your kitchen, I would highly recommend it. I'm just gonna really quick move over here to the corner and show you a couple of my favorites over here. So I don't exactly wanna take my whole corner decoration apart, but I wanna show you my favorites in this corner. So this recipe box right here, guys, um, I've had a recipe box for a long time, but my sister actually got that one for me for my birthday and I love it. Um, it is wooden and then has like the white recipes writing on and then up here it has a little line where you can stick in your recipe cards to hold them straight up while you're cooking. I know so many things are digital these days, but I still love having a recipe box to like contain all my handheld recipes and recipes from like family members. Um, it's just super easy and then I don't have to worry about my phone screen turning off when I'm baking or, I mean, that sounds like the simplest thing, but it actually aggravates me. So <laughs> I love having a recipe box to have all those like paper copy recipes in and just to keep them organized. So the next favorite over here would have to be my KitchenAid mixer. And some of you who have been following my channel for a while know that I found this on Facebook for like 50 bucks and it just needed a really, really good cleaning, and it needed some of like the attachments to actually mix things up. Um, I have loved it so much since I got it, and I highly recommend if you're someone who does any baking or anything like that in the kitchen, or, or even just to mix or whip things up, it works so great, and it's so handy to have one to be able to use. So over in this side in the cabinets, I will just show you guys real quickly what they look like. This is a cabinet that I kind of keep our glasses and stuff in. I keep like miscellaneous measuring cups up there and then smaller glasses here and larger ones here. And then moving down to these drawers, this is just like dishcloths, dish towels. I have way too many of those. Um, this is lids and these two bottom ones are containers. 
So then up here in my corner cabinet, this one is a little bit disorganized, I guess. I kind of have like some serving dishes. I also have my electric can opener up here, which I really enjoy using. If you guys didn't catch the video with this in it, I will link it and try to link this down below. It is an electric can opener that, yeah, you pretty much just press the button, it opens your cans, and it's really awesome. And then I kind of have miscellaneous stuff up here. Oh, here, guys. This is another one of my kitchen favorites, which if you caught my Amazon favorites video, you saw this. But it is a waffle maker. Sorry, I'm having problems. <laughs> that I found on Amazon for $10. Um, it's a mini one, but it is so cute and works so great if you're someone that just makes occasional waffles and doesn't make a lot of waffles. I would definitely recommend getting a small one like that. Okay, next counter. <laughs> Um, so up here, I just keep all my plates and dishes and that kind of thing. I don't think I have any favorites up there. Um, and down here is just my silverware and knives drawer. And then that's where I keep lunch boxes. So I don't think there's any favorites there. So let me move over here a bit and just show you guys kind of the rest of the kitchen. I have, um baked goods in here so that's why that's sitting out up there I keep like plastic goods plastic wear up up there this is my drawer where I keep kind of like bags and disposable things like that um and then over here in this cupboard I have like all the miscellaneous drink mixes that you could possibly imagine it's really full <laughs> But um, I love organizing in glass jars, so if you guys have any of those around and you want to do some organizing but you don't want to buy containers, these work great for coffee and drink mixes and things like that. So I think this big cabinet down here is pretty much one of the last in my video, but it looks a little messy um, because Zendaya gets into it. But down here are some of my favorites, and I want to take a second to show you guys real quick what those are. Alright you guys, so I actually sat down on the floor so you could see my face, and you're not just seeing random shots of my messy cabinet down here. Um, so like I said, Zendaya gets into this cabinet quite a bit, and it's not the most organized ever. But some of my favorites down here are, first off, I will turn the camera around, and then I will show you what they are. Hold on one second. Okay, right here is one of my favorites, and that is my Instant Pot. It's a six-quart Instant Pot. I actually bought it off Facebook, but it's so handy to cook quick and easy suppers, and you can also use it as a slow cooker. You can also saute in it. It is just one of those things that is so nice to have. And then up here is another one of my favorites, and I actually just got this set. Okay, so I decided to turn the camera back around. But anyways, um, this is a set of stainless steel bowls that have like a rubber grip on the bottom, and they also come with lids that match the grip. Um, and I will try to link something similar down below, but I probably just got them not quite a month ago, and I literally have used them so much already, it's crazy, because I didn't have any before. So, um, they, I'm not sure what the largest size is, but it definitely is something that I would highly recommend if you don't have for a kitchen. It is amazing to have a set of stainless steel bowls in your kitchen, or if you need a good kitchen gift idea for someone else, I definitely would recommend something like this. Um, they're so handy, and especially ones that have lids to store things in, um, to marinate meats in, anything like that. Super great, and yeah, another one of my favorites here in the kitchen. So we got through my entire kitchen of showing you guys, kind of giving you guys a tour and showing you guys some of my favorite things. I don't know if this is going to be a longer or shorter video. I guess we'll see when I edit it. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was different, but I hope it gave you some ideas, maybe gift ideas or if there's something you've been looking for for your kitchen, maybe it'll give you a good link to check out down below if um, it's something similar to what you've been looking for or needing in your kitchen. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If this is the first video of mine that you're watching, thank you so much for checking out my video and checking out my channel. I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this kind of video and you enjoy like favorites videos. But thank you guys again for watching and I will see you all next week in my next video. Bye guys!